What's going on, guys? It's Rookie with Tactical Solutions. So I have a pretty, I think, decent day for you when it comes down to some pre-market scans. If you guys want to see my scan criteria, I've made numerous videos about, you know, how to scan for stocks during pre-market hours. I already performed the scan. I'll scan it again. Uh, CAPR is one of the top stocks that's popping up right now during pre-market hours. Why is it that, you know, I see potential in this one or why is it that this one popped up in the scan? Um, well, something that I like to look, um, you know, big picture is kind of how the stock is trending. Looks like it was showing signs of a solid downtrend, but has been showing signs of a solid uh, upward staircase. Um, looks like it's had a previous support at $3 and I drew the support line, you know, a long time ago. I'm actually just looking at it right now. And it is acting as a new resistance. So again, old support becoming a new resistance. It previously had its support around $2 as it did not drop below $2, which is a previous support as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw that support line right there. And I'm going to go ahead and draw this previous resistance line that it had right here because that was a previous resistance. So if we see a pullback, we might actually see a bounce at around $2.50. Uh, $2 Understanding that there is a previous support at $3, um, then this is pretty much what I'm going to be waiting for. So I'm going to set my alerts here. And I'm going to go based on this. What is it that I wait for? Again, this is my style. This is not something that you have to do. But intraday, so all within during pre-market hours, I can see that this stock hit a resistance at $3. It was not able to break it. That's why I have my alert set here. Because if it makes highs of day, then I know this thing has the potential to continue to run and start trading in the previous margin that it had, which is around, let's do that five-month analysis. Um, from around $3 to $3.50 or up to $4. So therefore, I need to wait for the confirmation that if it either breaks above $3, great. You know, it can continue to run and I can cut losses if it goes below $3 or I can wait for a, um, you know, at market pullback. So we can see that it hit $3. It's bouncing right back to this. You know, this is a VWAP indicator. That's a VW. AP, you can see that it's, it's that purple lettering right there. I've made a video about it already, and it usually bounces and it's been holding above this VWAP indicator its entire pre market life. Therefore, as it, you know, if it confirms 283 as the support, we should see a bounce and then a break above VMA, and then see this continue to trend up to $3. Therefore, you know, during pre market hours, that's a 6% potential. That's a huge day trade, regardless of what you say or not. I mean, this thing is up from its previous close of 215 to highs of three. It's about 36%. Realistically, that's an enormous amount of growth within one day. Be patient. Two things that I'm going to wait for. I'm either going to be waiting for the break above $3 or a break below um, and a bounce at around the golden VWAP, which, it should, which should be around $2.50, $2.60. So I'm either going to wait for a pullback bounce I'm either going to wait for a high day, um, high day uh, kind of just break. So that's pretty much it. Let's go back to the scan. TRXE. We've talked about that one multiple times before. TRXE. And you can see that a lot of these stocks are the ones that, you know, heavily get manipulated. Um, you know, and as you guys can see, this thing's definitely one that is way overextended. Not something that I find to be a good quality stock. Um, so the same thing with this one. It's highs of 354. Right now, this one's already already pulled back uh, to pretty much where it was, you know, um, at close yesterday. Therefore, we kind of have to wait for a confirmation. If we if we if we see a confirmation and it bounces, it should hold above 320. Therefore, we should see a bounce at 320 and see this thing start trending back up. If we don't, then I will get alerted. Um, if it drops below, then it continues trending down. Then I'm not too interested in it. Uh, I can wait for a bounce and trade it off of that if the volume is there. But realistically, I don't have to trade what I don't see value in. WFT. Very low volume. It does. It is pretty nicely uh, set up, but nothing crazy there. Sorry, X. PSTI. What does that sound familiar? That's the one we traded yesterday. Really nice balance of uh, purple VWAP. Okay. Um, well, as we get a little bit closer to the bottom, um, TNDM, yeah, the volume is getting very low. Yeah, so not too interested in these anymore. Let me talk to you about the ones that I had in my watch list as of yesterday. Let me see if I can actually pull it up. 
Uh, this is one that I um, gave out to the people that are part of my mentorship program. And this is GoPro, AMD, ESPR, CRR. These are the main ones that I'm looking at. These are the ones that I currently have a position on, GNC and XXII. And these are the ones that I'm waiting on. I put my uh, the support, the resistance, entry point, exit point, my desired entry point, exit point, my stop loss, and then why it has potential. This is what we break down for every single member that's part of the mentorship program and what I ask from them as well. This is my active watch list. This is my main watch list where, um, you know, I have the, you know, like, you know, I have enormous amount of stocks in here, uh, but to not overwhelm myself, I keep it simple. Um, and I created an active watch list just so I focus on, you know, what I see value in to give myself less options. This is still very overwhelming, especially for a new trader. Keep it simple. Don't give yourself too many options. Focus in like, you know, one to two stocks a week, and then just make sure that those are your top quality stocks. I want to talk about AMD. Not too sure if you guys heard of the news. Its earnings report was actually decent. Based on what I heard, it actually hit its earnings or its expectations. Still had the drop from $14.25 all the way down to $2.50. And that is why I called this one out to be one of the top stocks for my watch list. $12.50, $14 resistance. Desired entry point is $12.60. Resistance at $13 plus. So with that being said, during pre-market hours, we could see that the support is around $12.65. Resistance resistance right around $13. So uh, with that margin alone, it's about 3%, so it's nothing huge. It's 2.79. That's still more than enough for a day trade. But I think it definitely has a lot more to offer because of how oversold it is. Big picture, right? Looking at this like big picture, 30-day chart. This is at a pretty low and previous support that if we see any indication of an uptrend, this offers a lot of margin of profit. This is for a multi-billion dollar company. Just take that into consideration. Please don't trade just based off my opinion. If you see value in it, great. If you don't, then don't trade it. Let's go to GoPro and why I see value in that one. GoPro, I think, shows a pretty solid trend when it comes down to the pump-up, pullback, consolidation, pump-up, pullback, consolidation. We're just waiting for a pump-up. And if you guys check it out during uh, aftermarket hours yesterday, this thing went from 940 all the way up to 965. Is it overbought? That's something that we're going to have to check out and we are, we're going to have to follow up with at market open. It's already pulling back and that's great. You know, if it actually ends up pulling back, but I want to see how it reacts to, you know, when the market does actually open and see if it increases, you know, um, and it experiences more volume. That's definitely something that I'm going to follow up with on GoPro because the past couple of days looking at it, it hasn't been doing, you know, this is kind of a high point in the past couple of days. $9 is, you know, the solid support. Nine twenty would be a more ideal purchase. But I really want to get GoPro when it's really starting to indicate that uptrend, maybe at the break of like, you know, $9.80, $10. And, you know, because it's going to build that little cup trend, we'll have a lot more margin of profit to make up, right, about 15%. So let me go ahead and talk about CRR. Porter, which is one of our traders called CRR out, um, uh, wait, oh, so I'm sorry, Ferris, and one of our traders um, in the mentorship program also called this one out as well, called out the support at $6, saw that indication of that uptrend during pre-market hours today, um, you know, isn't doing anything crazy, um, it's still trying to hold around that $9 price point, this is what I see big picture, previous support, next resistance 750 to $8. Already indicated that bounce and that validation that it's trending up. Now we just got to see if $7 is still a good buy point and if the demand is still there. Taking that into consideration, its earnings report, you know, um, is actually pretty soon. So you just have to ask yourself, hey, is this going to be worth it? And then ESPR, I had a talk with one of the members that are part of my mentorship program. Previous support, one, two. Waiting for the confirmation, it's at support. I'm gonna wait for the confirmation for that uptrend. So I'm gonna wait for the break above EMA on this 180 day chart. Once I get the confirmation, I'll probably have to break above 46. I will have a better understanding that this thing is trending back up and that I can take advantage of this opportunity. This is a solid company, 180 day chart with a solid uptrend, a very common trend you know, and margin of profit where this is normally where it bounces at. 
So this is a known support. Is it 100% going to bounce at $44? No. And that's why I wait for the confirmation because I can see that it's oversold. I can see that it's about to indicate a buy. I can see that it most likely will bounce, but I'm still going to wait for the confirmation. I'm going to keep it very simple. What's the potential that it offers? From 45, you know, let's say even just to 52, which is a known resistance, about 16%. That's not bad for, you know, one position that you just have to take and you can, you know, make 16% within one or two weeks. You know, ask yourself, are you up more than 16% within the past one or two weeks? And if you are, how nice would it be if you just take one or two positions like that? I'm keep I'm trying to keep it very simple for you guys. So you guys don't have to do, you know, so so when you guys are breaking down stocks yourself, uh, you know, you don't have to, you know, do like too much of the legwork there. But um, other than that, the market's about to open in about um, you know, one minute. Um, this is the last one that I wanted to call out. Call out previous support, previous resistance, one dollar one fifty. Looks like it's confirming that support. We'll just have to see if the volume follows. I'm waiting for a break and hold above one ten. I have my alert set right there. Offers a pretty decent margin of profit, um, and that's why I added this one to my watch list. Again, these are just stocks that I see value in. That means nothing to you. Please don't trade based on anyone else's opinion. Don't follow the hype. I know it's so overwhelming, especially the new traders. If you don't know how to trade or identify a good buy point or sell point, please focus more on that than actually taking any positions. Reach out to me if you have any questions about how to build that foundation and how to identify a good buy point. You guys can feel free to join TechBot Solutions. The link is in the description. Um, and it, I believe it's the fifth link. If you guys want to join my mentorship program, it's the first link if you guys like the way that I you know, break down stocks and I can you know, possibly mentor you. So markets opens in one second. Good luck, guys. All right, I'm going to head on over to my uh, mentorship voice call um, chat. So we'll see you guys later. Thank you guys again. We'll see you guys on my later video. If you guys haven't subscribed, you know, we would really appreciate that. Overall, continue working hard. Continue following your dreams. Let your passion be what drives you in your success. And like always, guys, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. I'm waiting for the bounce at around 1275 to 1274 AMD. Take care, team.